Now, after spending three weeks in the celebrity Big Brother house, Fern Britton is now back home in Cornwall, where she's very, very happy and looks very refreshed. Uh, good morning, Fern. It's so lovely to see you. How are you feeling? Have you managed to remotely process your time in the Big Brother house? <laughs> Not, not really. No, it's a, it's a hard one to process because it was such a an out of any other experience I've ever had in my life. I'm dreaming about it. Weirdly, I'm dreaming about the tasks and not being able to do them and worrying about having to, you know, get something back to somewhere. And those dreams that are very difficult to capture. But it's definitely about about Big Brother. Yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. I think it's 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 anxiety and, and stress related. I think firm because it's not an easy show to take part in for anybody and particularly the celebrity version because you go in there and you just can't help it gets under your skin the emotions are running high you feel vulnerable you, you don't even know what time of the day it is no absolutely they they literally take everything away from you about 36 hours before you even get in the house because you are hiding in a hotel room with um with a chaperone and so Unbeknownst to you, of course, that's already softening up your brain cells and preparing you for what's going to come ahead. And I'm not moaning about it. It was just that this is the experience, you know. Um, and then when you get into the house, the excitement, literal, of being in a place that is so iconic. I mean, this is a new house, totally new built from the previous series. Um, but to be inside it and see the size of it, I mean, it's enormous. The bedroom alone is probably the size of our local village hall. You know, it's huge and tall and vast and very airy space um, for a while. And then when you're in there for... I, I spent, well, we finalists, um, spent 19 nights in the bedroom, which was very weird because there's no windows, no real light, no fresh air, plenty of air conditioning but just a very odd place and you're locked in to to protect yourself and also for stop you wandering around the house when you hear noises in the night because there there are all the uh, set builders and designers rebuilding or building the the um the new uh, games and the tasks ahead of you yeah but of course like you're you're a tv veteran you know tv so was it what you expected it to be or was it a very very different experience I had no preconceptions. I've watched the show often enough, um, but I had no idea what it would really feel like to be there. So I don't think any of us did, really. And um, we just took a deep breath, all of us, without even saying it to each other, I suppose, and, and just got on with it. I think the most the thing that saved us right from the start was that it was kind of just organically decided that we would all cook and eat together. So there was only ever one menu and we would all sit at the table and eat rather than everyone going, well, I'm going to make myself beans on toast. Well, I'm going to make myself whatever. You know, it all happened together. And that was great. It kind of brought us together. And I think in a strange way helped us to cope with it. Because you get very like a lab rat. You know, the minute Big Brother says, this is Big Brother, we go, yes. And we're like children again, listening and not wanting to make a mistake. <laughs> you know, wanting to obey and be good. Because otherwise, as you know we'd have food taken away from us and terrible things would happen. Exactly. exactly. And like we say, everything being so heightened that much is made of any kind of sort of altercation with anyone. And of course, there was this supposed feud with Nikita, which you don't feel at all, really, Fern. It was just another thing that seemed to happen in there because you're all, like you say, like lab rats living on top yeah, of we one are. another. Yeah, well, I think it's funny that you should uh, use the word feud. There was no feud. Um, I think we had just a misunderstanding. I was trying to explain to him um, something had happened a few days before when he was, he was he's, he's a young man, a young, experienced man. He's had a lot of stuff in his life, having been born in Ukraine. But um, it was just such a silly thing that when... I don't know, maybe he, he, I just caught him on a raw side or I said something clumsily, but no feud, no nothing. And on, on the last night of the final, um, he, he did say to me, um, can you show me how to iron this bow on my suit? And I said, yes. So we tried to do that. That didn't work very well. And, um, and then, oh, I heard, um, I heard your message in your ear then. That was funny. Um, 
And and yes, and so that was all sorts of that. And then he said, and would you tie my bow for me? So we were fine. There was no problem. There was no problem. Well, um, you just live television, Fern, you know all about it. Um, does it does it sort of reignite a passion for getting back to it? We, 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 we all loved watching you do what you did. Did you sort of feel oh. something again when you were back in that kind of live environment that actually I have missed this? I wouldn't mind, you know, stepping back into the fold. Um, I did enjoy being in it, but I wasn't expecting to be suddenly offered more work or anything like that because I I'll often say this, but what I did... I would still obviously love to do the odd bits and pieces, but I've had my time in the sun and it's time for younger people to come through. And I've always thought that. So, you know, a bit of work here and there is lovely, um, but I'm not expecting anything special. But actually, it made me sort of want to be um, behind the cameras a bit more because... Um, the only thing I'm trained to do is to be a stage manager in the theatre or I could be a floor manager in, in television or maybe I could be a producer or maybe maybe one of my books might be taken up and turned into a drama, The Dream, um, and I could learn to produce and understand script writing and all that sort of stuff. So there's lots I want to learn beyond what I have done, if you know what I mean. And beyond being a Sunday Times bestseller, really, Fern, I mean, that, that's quite an accolade in itself, isn't it? I know you've got a book <laughs> number coming. One. Uh, number one. Number one. Absolutely. <laughs> and you have another book coming out later this year, we hope. Yes, yes. There's a, uh, actually, I've written, uh, or I'm writing, um, a non-fiction. And it's now that I'm in my 60s. And I thought, there's something about, you know, the older I get... And so that's the working title of the book. The older I get, there is so much to look forward to. You get to a point when your pension arrives, you're 60, your pension arrives when you're one of my age group, 66, um, which I got last summer. And um, it's a point where you have to stop looking back and look forward to think, no, there's still a lot more to come. Health is wealth. So uh, try and, you know, up, up, your, up the ante of your health, your fitness. And think of all the things that are coming ahead. I think to myself of all the hopefully grandchildren I might have. So there'll be weddings and baptisms and babysitting and <laughs> all of those things. There's an awful lot to look forward to and, and another few books as well to come as well. So, yeah. you know, there's a lot. There's a lot to come. There's a lot. Love, Fern, much, you know, they asked you many a question in there as well, didn't they, about love life and what could come from this in the future. And you talk about this looking ahead to life. I mean, anything's possible. That's, that's the thing. When you turn a certain age, people sort of go, oh, that's you, Dan. It's the absolute opposite of that. There's a new chapter. Yes, that's what I want to get over in this book and how to do that and all of those things. And you said love. I mean, um, do you mean that people say to me, are you dating? Are you doing this? Are you doing that? The answer is no, I'm not dating at all. I'm not looking for anything. But um, although I'd never want to get married again or live with anyone again, um, I'd like a, just a bit of romance, a, li a little bit of, you know, going out to supper or maybe having a bit of a holiday and someone to talk to at the end of the day to run things past. That would be nice. Yeah. I don't need it, but it would be nice. It would be nice. <laughs> well, Fern, who knows what is around the corner. Um, you have done Celebrity Big Brother. Anything is possible now because it, it's an absolute... I, don't, I really don't know how you could do three weeks in there. It's a credit to you no. and all of you. Um, I didn't expect to. <laughs> well, I you did. Last week. woman standing, Fern. Um, you can uh, catch up, of course, with Fern and all the Celebrity Big Brother antics on ITVX. Thanks so much, Fern. Enjoy beautiful Thanks, Cornwall this morning. Thank you. It's lovely to see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.